One word to describe each NFL team right now. This is from the Bleacher Report. We're going to look at all of them from the AFC North. So the Browns, they say treading. Uh, no matter your opinion on Deshaun Watson, um, he'll, he'll be starting immediately when he's available. They uh, desperately needed the recent victory over Cincinnati. They have to keep winning um, as well. For the Ravens, they say suspicious. Um, Rashad Bateman done for the year. That will definitely <clears throat> hurt the Ravens. And uh, obviously Bleacher Report not sold on that. The Bengals, they go with unsatisfying. Um, and again, they, they've been a little bit of a disappointment at four and four. <laughs> and the Steelers, they say recalibrating. And again, uh, you know, trying to trying to figure it out. It, Jeff, I think all those are, are pretty accurate and fair. Um, if the Browns play like we thought they would um, moving forward, they still have a chance um, to do what they want to do, which is make the playoffs. Well, this next three-game stretch is absolutely crucial, I mean, It's, it's going to start in Miami. Um, you know, you and I were talking before we hit the button here. Um, we feel the Buffalo game. Look, it, it, you know, the Buffalo game is literally like, you know, climbing, you know, Mount Everest at this point, uh, going into Buffalo. Uh, you know, everybody wants to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't think I've seen a team better this year than the Buffalo Bills, even though, you know, they're, they are uh, a team of the loss or two, unlike the Philadelphia Eagles. But Buffalo's really, really good. Tampa is going to be a wild card. Um, will they figure it out? Um, or is it just too far apart? And, you know, it, it, is Tom Brady some of it, you know, in his head with his personal life, sadly, is some of it the fact that eventually age was going to creep up. We'll see the way it plays out. By Miami, you know, uh, Waddle Hill, um, you know, that's gone better than I think most people thought. I really thought it was going to be something where you had two guys that maybe canceled each other out because they were so similar in their play style. Um, but uh, Tua Tagovailoa to this point has made it work and it's worked really, really efficiently. But the Ravens, you know, Bateman out. You look at that Ravens game, the Browns held Lamar Jackson to nine completions. They held them to under four yards of carry. You figure if you had Deshaun Watson that day, you win. You've already beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. The next time you play them, you're going to have Deshaun Watson. You figure that's an easy, winnable game for you. Uh, same thing with the Bengals, even though it's going to be on the road. And what you saw with the Bengals game is the same thing you see every time the, the, the Browns play Joe Burrow. They get after him early, and then Joe Burrow doesn't have the time or doesn't have, you know, basically the guts to let the long developing routes happen so he's just getting the ball out of his hands as quickly as he can um the browns have kind of been his achilles heel to this point browns if they can find a way to go two and one here you get it to five and six when deshaun watson comes in you have the three conference games i'm sorry the three division games you're gonna have the commanders you're gonna have the saints on the schedule and of course the houston texans oh i mean all of those games on paper look winnable it's inconceivable to say oh well deshaun watson should go six and oh over that stretch but if you can get Deshaun back here with the team being at five and six, I think it gives you a really, really good shot to take the North. You're sitting there at two and one, Cincinnati 0 and three. Uh, so the opportunity is certainly there for the Browns down the stretch.